a makeshift memorial full of loving messages from friends, relatives, and a mother who's lost her son. To my boy, I will love you till the end of time. Vancouver's Shane Charlson is missed. Friends say he was a talented individual. If it was broken, he could fix it. If you were told it was done and it was, it was, you couldn't do anything else with it, it was, he'd fix it. While Collier is mourning the loss of his friend, he's raising concerns about what killed him. Charlson died after a modified e-bike or scooter battery was overcharged and exploded in the downtown east side. These guys are souping up bikes with like homemade battery packs and like they're taking the, them out separately and they're like putting higher voltage ones in the battery packs. Officials say they recognize the concern. Lithium ion batteries are the culprit, commonly found in cell phones, laptops and e-bikes. Over 70% of our fire fatalities now are been caused by uh, these fires. Of the seven people who died from fires so far this year, five were caused by lithium ion batteries. With improper use, they can overheat. We always know that cooking and smoking are, are major risks, but this is a new risk. And this is something that we're, we're seeing more and more use in our community and something that we really need to pay attention to. So this is a burned out lithium ion battery recovered by the fire service. You can see where the initial explosion happened and then heat started escaping from each of these cells. The fire service tells me part of the challenge with putting this out is that all of that heat is contained inside each of these. You can cool the outside, but it's hard to get anything on the inside. And the bigger your device, the more of these batteries. Even fire extinguishers may not help because they're too small. So fire officials are warning the public. Always buy quality batteries from reputable brands. Use the same device it came with to charge, replace broken cords, and never modify the batteries. It's sadly too late for Collier's friend, but he hopes others will heed the warnings. Leanne Young, CBC News, Vancouver.